You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man? You must be kidding. Okay, so this is a video of myself. I was off for two and a half months. I dislocated my shoulder and broke my humerus. Uh, it's hard coming back. I was timid. I was scared. I didn't want my shoulder to pop out. So I think it's really important to take it slow when you're coming back and don't worry about getting back to the speed you once were before you crashed, especially as we're older. I mean, we're more brittle when we're older. We fall, we get hurt easier. So what I like to do is I like to just get a circle and just do circle drills. And I'll do that for a week or two before I even attempt riding a track. And the reason being is you can't really get hurt too bad in a circle. I mean, yeah, you could probably still get hurt, but this is an easy, good way to Bring it back. Bring yourself back up to speed. If you do fall, it's not going to hurt very bad. And then also, after watching the video on myself, you can see on the first day riding, my form is terrible. I'm dabbing my foot everywhere. My elbows go are going down. I'm not keeping my leg up high. And the problem is, if you take that to a regular track with the jumps and people around it, those forms, that technique and form may become habit after a while, and you may start to make yourself slower. So it's very important to take it slow, work on your form, work on your technique, get yourself back up to speed before you go jumping out and trying to race around with a bunch of other people on the track. All right, so here's a slow-mo of me. This is day one, this is my first day back riding. And as you can see, I make a lot of mistakes. I dab my foot several times in the corner. I have no leg strength. I'm not holding my leg up. I dab it again in the next corner and I rip my leg backwards. I'm also very stiff. And in my mind, I think I can go the speed I was going before I got hurt, but I clearly can't. I'm riding really stiff. I don't have the leg strength to hold my leg up. And it's going to take some time to get my strength and my muscles back in riding shape. So like I said before, take it slow. There's no reason to push. And especially if you're a vet like me, I'm 37 years old. So I'm in the vet class now. Um, you know, take your time. You're not in a hurry for anything. If you're a little kid, yeah, maybe you can take it a little quicker or a teenager. But, uh, you know, once you start to get up there in age, there's no reason to rush back into anything, especially if you've got a kid, family, mortgage to pay. Take it slow, get back up to speed, work on your technique, and get back into it the safe way. All right, so day two, um, now you can see I'm going left. The shoulder I injured was my left shoulder. So the first day I didn't even go left. I was just doing right-handed turns because I didn't want to, I wanted to see how the strength of my shoulder was, make sure I didn't pop it out again. And today on this, the second day, you can see that I'm leaning it over more. My form's a little better. I'm not consistently dragging my foot. You know, I'm getting a little more comfortable. You know, of course I'm training while I'm not riding, you know, and doing some strength training and whatnot, trying to build the strength back up in my legs, my arms, my body to hold myself up at a better position. So like I said, just take it slow. If you're a vet, even if you're a young guy, there is absolutely no reason to push. Dirt bikes are always going to be there. Don't rush out to the local track and, you know, take all this weakness and bad technique and risk your chance of injury again. Take it slow. Find somewhere where you can cut in a circle, something super easy, and go from there. Work your way up. 